Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. Today's demo, we're going to spend some time in Snowflake, specifically leveraging custom packages within the Snowpack environment. Now, Snowflake does offer packages directly within the UI from Anaconda, really easy to use. The reality is you might encounter situations where you need a package that's not available within Anaconda. This might be a homegrown package or this might be a package from an environment like PyPy. So there are very straightforward methods to import those packages, but you might still run into issues importing those packages. And we're going to showcase some really cool utilities to bring in those packages, to bring in wheel files into the Snowpack environment. Now, that said, let's jump in and see a couple of uh, observations here. The very first one, this is a plain vanilla code. I don't worry so much about the function. It's just to showcase what we're going to see uh, here. Now, uh, if you have a code and you need a package, obviously you're going to want to check if that package is available within Anaconda. For example, there is a package called uh, FB growth, very common in uh, the data science world for frequent pattern uh, growth algorithms. Just uh, using this package as an example, what we've seen is this package isn't available in the Snowflake uh, Anaconda channel. So searching from here, it isn't available. If we go over to the specific Snowflake Anaconda channel, this package isn't available, but it doesn't mean you cannot use this package. You can always use this package uh, relatively easily. The way you're going to do that is uh, PyPy usually would have this or GitHub might have the package. Uh, so what you're going to do here is go over to PyPy, search for the package, go over to download. In the previous demos, the recommendation was do not use the wheel file. The recommendation was to use the actual source code compiled file of that package. Go ahead and download that on zip this file. You're going to go in and usually you would see the actual uh, code in here. So in this case, you see a folder here called uh, fpgrowth.py. Copy that out. Okay. There are many ways you can do this. So we want just the actual source code go ahead and zip that up. Now, once this has been zipped up, go over into your stage environment, use any method you prefer to load this zip file into a stage, browse, get this imported. Once this is in the stage, obviously you can reference this pretty easily. So here we do have the FP growth. If we want that package within this code, accessible within this code, now we go over to packages. Instead of Anaconda packages, we're going to need stages. My stage was called demo stage P growth. This FP growth package will be available within this particular context. Pretty easy to do. We've uh, talked about this in the past. Now, here is a catch, and this is why this is an important uh, exercise to witness. Certain cases, importing packages like we've seen is not going to be sufficient. And you need a, a little bit of a different approach. To illustrate that, uh, we have a package here uh, that has other dependencies. And one of those dependencies is a little bit problematic. Not to call this out or point fingers, but this particular package, uh, if you follow the same method we've done, downloading the tab all, unzipping it, going in to pull out files and compressing it, you run into issues. So what is the alternative? The alternative would be to use the will file. You might say, well, how do I use a wheel file? There is no direct way of using a wheel file in importing packages into Snowpack. Well, generally there isn't, but there is a utility that can help. The utility that can help with that is this utility right here. And I'm going to share a link to this. Go over to Snowflake uh, Labs, uh, Snowpack extensions. There is a utility in there called Wheel Loader. And this is a really, really cool utility developed by James Weekly. He puts out really good content, the founder of Omnada, and you can read about it here, but links to all of this will be in the description below because wheel files are slower. So you have to be careful using this method. Wheel files by nature are compressed. So only use this if you have to, the, the, the preferred method would be to either use the zip file or just load the, the, the direct files. If you have to use the wheel file, this utility will be uh, very helpful for you. Let's see how we can use this utility. Going back, this particular package, Walker Lender, 
does have some dependencies. Go ahead and bring all those dependencies into a stage. So let's go back here and browse from this stage. I do have those packages pre set up here and import all of that into packages. And I'll explain what we've done uh, here shortly. Within this, the problematic package encountered is this lunar date. Like I mentioned before, if you go through the route of downloading the lunar date and zipping it, it just will not resolve. You run into issues for whatever reason, you can spend time debugging, or you can just use the actual wheel file that has been built by the developers. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and bring the wheel file, go back to lunar date, come over here. You can always find the wheel file and download that, whichever one makes sense for you. Download the actual wheel file. So this is Python 2. If you're doing Python 3, you can download the Python 3. And uh, once you've downloaded that, upload the wheel file to your stage. Now we can access this wheel file from within a code. So for example, we have a dependency here called PyMuse. If I go over in the stage, obviously you're going to do demo stage packages dot zip. Now this will be available within a context. If I need the worker lender, so let's just do this for a couple more. All right. So we've gone ahead and installed all the packages we need. We've also gone ahead and brought in the wheel loader. Now this wheel loader is coming from this extension by uh, James Weekly. So what you can do is download the wheel loader file, the wheel loader code, and that's essentially what you need. This is available within the snowflake snowpark extension grab this, clone this, bring it down and make this available within your stage. In this case, I have the wheel loader here. We're also referencing that within our packages. Now this problematic package, lunar date, or that the zip file will not work. We want to use the actual wheel file. So we want to reference this actual wheel file. We can then do that within our code by first importing a wheel loader so that pur file has been imported now once you have that imported you can do a wheel loader dot load and reference any wheel file you want okay so that utility would take care of loading the wheel file for us obviously once that's loaded doing my import from the package results before doing before this and doing it without this resulted in in this lunar date not resolving with the zip file option Again, this is not to focus on the code or, or the use case I'm trying to solve with this. It's just to give you an example or a way of leveraging wheel files from within your code or running in the snowpark environment. So that executed and we return the, the X here. Now, without this, if we uh, take out this option without loading the lunar date, obviously this should uh, complain and fail because of the issue like this, right? From lunar date, import lunar date just isn't available. And even if you do the zip method, it wouldn't work. So you, you really have to look at uh, using the wheel loader to load the wheel file. That should resolve your issues. This is true for lunar date or any other package you encounter. Take a look at the wheel loader. Hopefully this should help you in cases where your packages are not uh, being uh, resolved. Again, hopefully this was helpful. Links to all of this will be in the description below as always. Thanks for joining and sticking to the end. This has been through with Demo Hub. I'll see you in the next demo.